welcome back to my channel. So we are starting like completely fresh to face today because today we are doing a challenge video. As you can tell by the title, in today's video I'm going to be doing my makeup routine in reverse. Now I've seen a few people do this so I haven't come up with this idea. There's plenty of people to give credit to. I've seen Michael Finch do it, James Charles do it, all of them. So you could go check them out. I love their videos so much. But I wanted to give it a go myself. I'm really enjoying these kind of more challenge type videos. So give this video a thumbs up already if you guys prefer to watch kind of makeup challenge type videos. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But before we get started it is post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to Rena May who says love you hun. No to squad. Love you too, girl. I also just wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much for the love on all of mine, Maddie's and Hannah's previous videos. If you haven't already seen them, that will, they will be at the end of the video. You can watch my latest upload there. We had so much fun filming them and it's so good to see that you guys love it when we film together. So we're definitely going to be doing that in the future. But yes, without further ado, I'm going to try my best for this not to be a hot mess and actually look presentable. I am going out after this. I've written my makeup routine down here. And I'm just going to kind of work from the bottom up, see if that works. But yeah, without further ado, my makeup challenge in reverse. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so my hair is all out of the way. Now, lucky for me, a part of my makeup routine I use at the beginning and the end. So this kind of feels like natural for me to do. I've been loving using the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray as you guys know, I always use it at the end of my makeup, but I also love using it before. So this would also this is like my first and last step. So so far so good. I just love this. The hyaluronic acid is so good for the face, just making it feel plumped and hydrated. So this has kind of been my primer recently, but also I love using it after my makeup, so. Love you, babe. Okay, so the last thing I would normally do is my lips, so I guess I'm gonna have to do that first. Um, I feel like going for a red today. I'm gonna go for, cause I've got eyelash extensions on, so I'm not gonna be doing anything too, too dramatic on my eyes. And I thought, why not? I love a red lip, so let's do a red lip. Um, I guess I would normally line my lips and then do liquid lipsticks, so <laughs> liquid lipsticks going first. Oh my God, I'm gonna look really bizarre. Right, here we go. I'm looking into a mirror, by the way. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. this feels and looks so weird. You guys know me, I love having like foundation lips as like a base for when I do liquid lipstick. I just look like a goddamn clown. To be fair, the good thing about liquid lipstick, especially like a coloured one, it doesn't really matter if you do pencil or liquid lipstick first, like that's not too much of a problem. Okay. <laughs> so far, I look terrifying, but... I've not, I don't feel like my makeup routine has been ruined yet, so... On to the next step. So I'm the kind of person that does my eyes last, so a lot of people would actually do their eyes first now anyway, but I do my eyes last, especially when I'm normally wearing a bright lip, I tend to go quite minimal on my eyes. My next step is actually mascara. I would say mascara and lashes, but I'm not wearing lashes because I've got lashes on, but they're kind of at their like ends now, I'm gonna soak them off later tonight. So I, d I don't mind putting a little bit of mascara on them, but time to put mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit on these because they're a little bit sparse in some areas. I mean, <laughs> finished. So yeah, like I said, next up is eyes and I feel really weird. I want to put an eye base down like, <sighs> I don't want to just put it straight on my eyes. Right, Rachel, no, you're not going to cheat. Let's just do some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's their Opal Essence eyeshadow palette, I think it's new. Ooh, this way. I think it's new, but oh my God, does this mean I have to do the eyeshadow like process in reverse? Like dark to light? Oh no. <sighs> Shitting hell. Right, I am gonna put some tape down because like that's just the shape that I want. This isn't cheating, I just want like a winged shape. Okay, the tape is down. And now I guess we're just gonna be going from dark Actually, oh my god, no, so I first of all would highlight my inner corner. Christ, okay, let's highlight our inner corners, everyone. 
that's what I would normally do last. Oh my god, the red lipstick's on my face. I repeat, the red lipstick is on my face. Okay, 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 right, dark to light, dark to light. With no eye base, this feels weird. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? I actually think quite a few makeup artists, especially the ones that kind of do like heavier cut creases and that kind of thing, actually do do dark to light eyeshadows. I feel like they feel like that's, I feel like they feel like, I feel as if they think that's a, like a, it's a technique to kind of blend things out and like just have a really like bolder colours, you know show up a bit more. I, on the other hand, am not one of those people, so this feels really bizarre. Right, gonna go in with a slightly lighter colour to <laughs> diffuse that out. I can't wait to get to the lightest colour to like blend this because <laughs> this just looks funny. Especially the fact that I've got no eyeshadow base is really giving me anxiety, like no concealer. Oh, now I feel like it's lid colour time. Let's get a little brush. Let's take a little mixture of these two shimmery gold shades. Nothing too much because we've got a red lip going on. Is this even going to look good? I've got nothing to cling to except my sweaty eyelid. Fuck's sake. I mean... Come through BH Cosmetics. You know, I'm actually really loving BH Cosmetics shadow palettes at the moment and just like everything that they've really come out with, I love and it's been so good. <gasps> I didn't do it under my eye first. Um, I mean, I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. This could <laughs> look better and worse, but now I just need to blend it really. So you know what, doing that part in reverse, it's not too bad. Like the eyeshadow, give it a little blend, because now I'm using the lighter shade. I mean, I mean, come on then. Someone, someone give us a clap. I thought that was gonna look awful, but just goes to show if the shadows have got pigment, They'll cling to your sweaty eyelid. Okay, so I guess that's kind of. Oh no, wait, shit. Let's take, take, take the tape off and do under my eyes. How I literally was just talking about it. How did I forget? Do you ever do that? You're literally like, right. I need to remember to do this. Remember to do this. Remember to do this. Remember to do this. Forgot to do it. Give it a little buff. Okay, I feel like this is eyes. You know, complete. And now I always do my highlighter. And then my eye makeup, because normally the highlight is like the last step of the makeup routine. <sighs> I don't want to, oh, I don't want to put powder down. <laughs> okay, fine, just do it, do it, do it. I'm just not going to be glowing the way I want to glow, you know. I suppose it's a challenge, so let's do our highlighter. Maybe I'll just glow from within. <laughs> I suddenly don't know where this is like going. Or if this is even gonna like go anywhere. I mean, at least I'm glowing, sis. Don't forget my nose. I just. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Okay, but now it's time for brows. And I'm kind of concerned about how I'm gonna do this because I always do. Normally, would do all my skin minus highlighter, then brows, and then highlighter. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to carve my brows out now. To be fair, at least that's become a bit of a technique. I know like Mitchell and those kind of people, they like to kind of carve the brow first and then do it. But I like normally use concealer to like <laughs> save my brows. So, oh god, here goes nothing. I mean, don't I just look stunning? Right, I guess let's just try and buff that in a little bit. Oh, I'm losing my eyeshadow! I mean, it's still there. Panic over. 
Right, time to do brows. I'm gonna use my Benefit, precisely my brow pencil. Y'all yeah, know the drill. I mean, that could have gone so much worse. And that's actually <laughs> a pretty good brow. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera because I've just seen how long I've been filming for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, both brows are done, so now it's time for blusher. Yay! <laughs> I don't understand how this is meant to work and how other people do it. But okay, let's just pop some um, blusher on. Looking, looking, I look awful, like, oh my God. Give me skin, I need skin. Now it's time for bronzer and shimmery bronzer. <laughs> Shimmery bronzer comes first. Wow. I mean, I'm really just going to be like glowing from within at this point. Because... This ain't it. Okay. That one's done. Normal bronzer time. Yay. Looks awful. Why did, what am I doing wrong? Why did other people's look good? Why is mine going so bad? <laughs> mm. Okay, stay calm. Oh my God, it's time for powder. <laughs> okay, I, okay, it wasn't that like a technique where like powder before foundation, like it's meant to be really good. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like really trying to like, convince myself here. I'm just gonna really lightly powder because I actually want this to go quite well. So let's just, Lightly powder the skin. Okay, not too bad. Could have gone worse, could have gone better. <sighs> now it's time to cream contour. Okay, the first cream product on my face. And it's going straight onto it everywhere where I've put the powders. Great! Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time to blend. Ooh. Well, can confirm. Do you know what? I feel like it could still be okay because I can use like concealer and stuff to, you know, tidy it up, maybe. <laughs> could that have gone worse? Probably. Does it look great? No, but I feel like, you know, it, it, it's not over yet, it's not over yet, let's not give up, because now it's time for concealer, right, come on Nars, save me, right, we're going to be using this under here, I only really use concealer under my eyes and like down my nose, oh, 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 I'm going to lose me highlighter, for fuck's sake, this is kind of where I like, and my chin, Oh, could use that to uh, tidy up my lipstick a little bit. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's get a little brush for the lips. Oh, actually, let me just give myself a chance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, just maybe, it might look okay. You guys, this could look so much worse. <laughs> Yay! Now it's time for foundation, the penultimate step. So let's pop this on like the remaining sort of areas of my face. I like to mix two shades of the NARS one together. So this is Syracuse and Stromboli, as you guys know, my fave, fave, fave at the moment. Let's get me foundation brush and uh, Get cracking. Let's contour. Mm. Oh no, I put too much on. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There is a reason I don't do eyebrows first, and this is it. It speaks for itself. 
And finally, the final step, but also the first step, the Revolution Spray, just to lock this in place if I have to do it. I mean, I think we're finished. I think we're done. So this is the finished result. I really hope you guys like it. It was going well, then it went bad, then it went well again, and now I just feel like a kind of hot, like, sweaty, well, I look really sweaty mess. I really hope you guys had fun watching this. You should just try it for yourselves. It's, f like, just a little bit of a laugh. See if you can actually do it and make it work. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. I'll give myself that. But I'm, like, reflecting, like, the sun back at you. My face is so shiny. <gasps> But like I said, I really hope you guys had fun watching this. Let me know any other challenges in the comment section down below. I saw like a few requests for a 24 hour challenge, like doing accents, which I really wanna do. I wanna like plan a lot of things like throughout the day and like just see if I could do it. So let me know if you would be interested in that as well. I do think the next video I'm gonna do is like slightly more makeup tutorial-esque because I don't wanna lose that, you know, part of my channel. But doing challenges is so much fun and I definitely wanna do a lot more. So I'll always refer back to this video for your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope, like I said, you had fun. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.